Hello, I'm Dr. Arani. I really would like to explain to you how important it is to maintain the vaccines and transport and transfer the vaccine from one location to other location because the vaccine are really temperature sensitive. It might not be effective as the temperature drop down during the transport from the manufacturer or from the local company to the end user or the clinics. So in this for example, I can show it to you. Uh, this is specifically box for the HPV vaccinations of the bar itself. Once we open the box, and then in AeroSafe, there's a, a cooler, a special top of the cooler, and the vaccine is packed with uh, uh, ice pack, and this ice pack all cold and fresh, and make sure the the shipment company knows it's only going to take one or two days to transfer this, so go by the regulation so it doesn't lose the temperature. And inside the box, you said the HPV guardless cell vaccination and get transferred to the refrigerator quickly. And the refrigerator itself, we maintain the temperature all the time exactly the same. And in each vaccine has regulation and a specification based on the manufacturer that we need to keep it in a certain environment. Otherwise, if you lose the efficacy and you get the vaccine, you don't know it's going to work or not unless you get sick and you don't get uh, uh, the effect that you really want for protection of uh, prevention of the disease by the vaccine. You don't get that by the time you know it, it's already late. For example, you already have HPV or cause cervical cancer, other things is already late and you don't know the vaccine was not kept uh, uh, on the refrigerator, on temperature regulator, or was transport. So you have paid really attention, uh, even the pharmaceutical company or manufacturer for transferring the vaccine in temperature regulated uh, environment. All right, that's good for today.